So in this video we're going to be tackling our hardest problem yet, uh, which is uh, Gambler's Ruin. The problem of Gambler's Ruin. Gambler's Ruin. And the problem of Gambler's Ruin is, um, as you might expect, about gambling. Uh, so the question is this. Uh, given two gamblers, so Gambler A and Gambler B, and they are playing a game. So let's say they have a really simple game, although the game can be whatever you like. Uh, let's say the game is you toss a coin, and if it's a heads, uh, Gambler A wins. So Gambler A wins if it's a heads. And if it's a tails, Gambler B wins. Uh, so each time they bet, let's say, a pound uh, on the result of uh, the tossing of this coin. And if it's a heads, uh, Gambler A wins, so Gambler A keeps his pound and takes Gambler B Gambler's B Gambler B's pound, and if it's a tails, then Gambler B gets uh, the pound coin off Gambler A and keeps his own pound coin. Uh, so, the question is, um, if, uh, let's say, um, Gambler A starts off with I pounds, and Gambler B starts off with N minus I pounds, so overall there are N pounds in the game, and Gambler A has I of the pounds, and Gambler B starts off with N minus I of the pounds, all the remaining pounds, uh, then uh, we want to know what is the probability that A wins. A wins. So that is our setup. Uh, it's a really quite a difficult problem. Um, it, and of course, this um, in this case, the pro oh, I should have said the coin. Uh, we need to know also the probability that the coin lands on heads and a tail. So let's say the probability that uh, Gambler A wins, i.e., the probability that the head lands uh, with the heads uh, is uh, that the tail that, uh, that the that the coin lands on a heads is probability p, and the probability that it lands on a tail is one minus p. Okay, uh, so uh, given this, uh, what is the probability that A wins? That is the setup for Gambler's Ruin. And it is really a quite a difficult problem, and I urge you to have a think about how you would do this. And uh, when you are truly stuck, uh, you should start the video again, because once you actually have tried to work this out for yourself, you're, you are, you've invested time in it, so the problem becomes important to you. So you want to know the answer, and you will remember the answer once you've seen it, because it's important to you. Uh, if the brain doesn't think that something's important, it's not going to remember it, is it? Okay, so... Um, so the, we want to know the probability A wins, and it's completely and utterly, um, I don't know what word to use, entangled with another problem, which is the problem of a random walk. So it's exactly the same problem in effect, a random walk. So the random walk problem is, let's say we have a little bug, let's say it's a computer game or something, and we've got some little bug, let's say, let's say here's the little bug, um, here's the little bug. And it has to, let's say, it has to be on a stone. So let's say it's in a pond and there are stones. And um, let's say on this, here's land over here, and here's land over here. And there are loads of stones in between, and the bug has to be on one of the stones. And basically, the bug can hop from this stone to this stone, it can hop from this stone to this stone. And the probability that it goes this way is P, and the probability that it goes the other way is 1 minus P. Uh, so, the bug will hop from here, or it could hop here, and then from here it could hop here, or, or it could hop here, and you know, um, there are lots of lots of possible outcomes of this experiment. It could oscillate backwards and forwards forever, and just go from this stone to this stone to this stone to this stone to this stone, etc. And we want to know what is the probability that it ever reaches land. So we'll call this land A, and this land B, what is the probability that it gets over here, and let's say there are... Um, Let's say there are n minus one stones. So the, there are n minus one stones here. So uh, if it if it starts off at pos initial position, uh, let's say i, we want to know what is the probability that it gets to position zero, which is over here. And this obviously would be position b, uh, position n rather, the position that um, that um, b gets n stones. Um, that b uh, that which is equivalent to B getting all the coins, okay. So, um, oh rather, no, sorry, this is, uh, this is actually, um, yes, no, sorry, 
get rid of this A and this is the B. So if we say that the um, if we say that the bar um, and sorry I've fudged this up. Right, get rid of those and get rid of those. So uh, let's say the bug. Let's say the bug's position. Say the bug's position represents. Uh, the amount of money A has, the amount of pound coins A has, amount of pound coins A has. So uh, this is zero and this is n. That's better. And the probability that it moves up, I it goes from here to here, is p. The probability that it goes down is one minus p, which corresponds up here. So the pr if if it goes up, that's corresponding to A winning. A's probability of winning is P. And if it goes down, that corresponds to B winning, which is 1 minus P. Um, so we want to know what is the probability that it either... Well, we actually want to know what is the probability that it ends up here. We know... Um, Okay, so um, this is quite a difficult problem. So that's the problem of random walk, and it's easier to think of it in terms of random walk because you'll see something that is really important to this problem. Okay, uh, so I'm going to pause the video there and we'll continue it in the next one.